Hello everyone and welcome to today's maths class. So uh, in today's class we are going to start with the first chapter that is called large numbers. Okay. So previously in fourth standard you all have learned what are five digit numbers and six digit numbers that is up to lakhs. Correct. In today's class we will learn up to seven to eight digit numbers and we will see Indian system of numeration in today's class and also how to place commas and how to read and write numbers okay so first of all uh, what have we learnt in five digit and six digit numbers so five digit numbers have place values up till 10,000 correct and you get and uh, the smallest smallest five digit number is 10,000 which you get when you add greatest four digit number plus one and you get uh, the smallest six digit number when you add the greatest five digit number plus one that is 99,999 plus one will give you one lakh okay which is the smallest six digit number okay and then we saw in uh, you'll have seen that in six digit numbers or place value charts have three periods right we have ones then we have thousands and then you'll have lakhs so in today's class we'll be learning up to crores okay so before that let's revise what you'll have learnt in five and six digit numbers so page number one in your textbooks okay it has a quick revision on what you'll have already learnt so first one uh, first question they have told arrange the following digits of the numbers under their correct place as mentioned remember to use zero as a placeholder whenever wherever necessary okay now complete the following so one nine in ten thousands place so we'll put nine in ten thousands place okay and then four in ones place okay so nine in ten thousands place four in ones place correct and then two in thousands place so we'll put two in thousands place they have not given anything else so in the rest of the places we'll put zero so what is the number here now it is ninety two thousand four correct now b1 9 in 1 lakhs place 8 in ones place and 5 in 10 thousands place and rest of the digits will be 0 okay thousands hundreds and tens is 0 so here the number is 9 lakhs 50 thousand 8 then they have told 9 in tens place for c1 2 in hundreds place 6 in 1 lakh place 3 in thousands place and four in ten thousands place so one's place will be zero so that is six lakhs forty three thousand two hundred and ninety then five in hundreds place okay so they've told you to put five in hundreds place so we'll write five here seven in ten thousands place so we'll write seven and six in tens place so thousands place and one's place will have zero Okay, so that is 70,560. Then question number E. So they have told 3 in 10,000 place. Okay, so we will put 3 in 10,000 place, 6 in 100 place. Okay, and 5 in 1's place. Okay, so rest of the digits will be 0. So that is 30,605. Now question F. They have told 1 in lakhs place. 2 in hundreds place, 6 in thousands place, and 3 in ones place. So tens and ten thousands place will be 0. So this is 1 lakh 6203. Okay, so this was a revision on what you'll have learned. So now moving on to 7 digit and 8 digit numbers. So when you add 1 to the largest 6 digit number, we get the smallest seven digit number that is 10 lakhs okay so smallest six digit number will be largest six digit number will be nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine okay so smallest uh, small seven digit number is 10 lakhs then similarly when you add one to the largest seven digit number which is 99 lakhs ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine okay when we add one to it you will get the smallest eight digit number which is one crore okay it will be one crore so now if you look at indian system of numeration okay they have given you a place value chart so here it is now we have four periods so that is ones 
period thousands lakhs and crores okay in once period you have ones tens hundreds in thousands you have thousands and ten thousands in lakhs period you have lakhs and ten lakhs and in crores you have crores and ten crores now here they've given you a number okay to arrange in place while you chart so here eight will go in ones place six in tens one in hundreds again this six will go in thousands place three will go in ten thousands place six in lakhs two in ten lakhs and five in crores place so how will you read this now okay so before seeing how to read we'll see how to place the commas or use commas so you use commas commas are used to separate the periods which help us to recognize the number names so you'll put a five of a comma after the crores period that is after five you'll have one comma like this okay just let me write it down so you have five now five is in crores period right and next you have two and six which are in lakhs period to separate crores period and lakhs you'll put a comma like this then you'll write 26 okay which is in lakhs period then to separate uh, then after lakhs period you have 10,000 so, so separate lakhs and 10,000 period you'll insert a comma okay so now we have 36 okay after this again we'll place a comma to separate 10 uh, thousands period and ones period so now we have 168 okay so here after crores period we put one comma after lakhs we put one comma and after thousands period we put one comma okay now this is how you use the commas now commas also help you to read the number names so here you'll start from the crores place so now 5 is in which period it is in crores period so this will be 5 crores then 26 is in lakhs period so it will be 26 lakhs 36,168 okay so this is how you read 5 crores 26 lakhs 36,168 so commas are used to separate the periods which help us to recognize the number name so for example here they've taken eight nine six five seven nine eight five okay so when you separate it by commas you will have something like this correct so to read this or to write the number name for it you read it as eight crores ninety six lakhs fifty seven thousand nine hundred and eighty five okay eight crores ninety six lakhs fifty seven thousand nine eighty five so this is how you use commas now uh, we'll solve my practice time questions on page number three in your textbooks okay so here first question write the given numbers in the place value chart so now eight is in which place here it is in crores place correct so we'll put eight in crores place then seven in ten lakhs three in lakhs four in ten thousand five in thousand six in hundred seven and eight okay so eight lakhs seventy three sorry eight crores seventy three lakhs forty five thousand six seventy eight now if you look at the next number you don't have crores it is a seven digit number so it will start from 10 lakhs so this will be seven we have six here in lakhs place five in ten thousands place eight in thousands place one in hundreds place three in tens place and four in ones place now if you get confused if you have to start from crores or 10 lakhs what you can do is you can start from ones so here in ones place in this number we have the digit one in tens place we have seven in hundreds place we have eight in ten thousands place we have nine sorry in thousands place we have nine ten thousands place we have seven lakhs we have four ten lakhs again we have four and crores we have six okay so you can start from ones and place the digits like that also okay so this was question one and the last three qu questions that are there numbers that are there you'll do it for homework okay then question two they've told insert the commas to separate the periods in the following numbers so first of all see how many digit number this is this is a eight digit numbers right so it will have till crores so what you can do you can write one which is in crores place 
after cross plus you'll have a comma then 73 yes then after 73 you'll have 56 then 780 okay so you can place commas like this or now for example we can do what we did uh, last so write the digits Okay, start placing the commas from your uh, right hand side. So, you know the ones digit, tens digit and hundreds digit are in ones uh, period. So, we'll put a comma here. Okay, and here thousands and ten thousands are in thousands period. So, we can put a comma here. So, now 55,034,567. Okay, so now we have 9930567. So, we'll put a comma before once period then here in ten thousands place okay okay so this is five six seven three zero seven one so now again in between ones and ten thousands then between ten between thousands and lakhs period okay so this is how you insert the commas to separate the periods okay so you can either start from uh, left hand side or right hand side whichever you all are comfortable with now the last four questions that are the e f g and h you all try to do it for homework okay it is a part of your homework then next one write the following numbers in words how do you write the numbers in words now they have given you uh, they are separated by commas correct so see uh, how many periods are there so in the first we have three we have ones we have thousands and we have lakhs so this number will be 70 lakhs sorry 79 lakhs 79 lakhs 86,590 okay 590 this is the first one 79 lakhs Ninety. Now coming to second one. Now if you see here, we have how many periods? One, two, three, four. So we have ones, thousands, lakhs, and crores. So this will be four crores. Ninety-seven lakhs. Okay. Then we wrote ten thousands places zero. So this will be one thousand. And hundreds places again zero. So this will be. 62 okay 4 crores 97 lakhs 1062 understood so now similarly here also we'll start we have ones we have thousands we have lakhs and crores so this will be 6 crores now we don't have anything in 10 lakhs place so it will be 4 lakhs 98,000 and 751 okay 751 all right 751 then d1 now again here if you look at it we have four uh, periods only so this is nine crores 56 lakhs nine crores 56 lakhs eighty five thousand one there's nothing in hundreds tens place so we have only one in ones place so it will be nine crores fifty six lakhs eighty five thousand one okay so this is how you write numbers in words all right now again the last four you all try to do it on yourselves for homework now moving on to question number four write the numerals in uh, write the numerals okay they have given you in words you have to give, write them in numerals. So how will you do it? Now first one. 9 crores. So write 9. Put a comma. Okay. 36 lakhs. So in lakhs period we have 36. Then 79,000. So 79 here in thousand. So put a comma again. 836. 836. Okay. So 9 crores. 36 lakhs. 79,836 next one eight eight eighty five lakhs twenty four thousand six hundred five okay so eighty five lakhs we'll put a comma after the lakhs period then twenty four thousand 
twenty four then comma six hundred five. There is nothing in tens place, so we'll put a zero six hundred five. Okay, then five crores. So in crores period we have five. So put a comma after five. Twenty two lakhs. So twenty two comma. Then thirty nine thousand. So thirty nine and comma. Then eight hundred fifty two. So eight five two. So five double two three nine eight five two. Okay, do do. Uh, so similarly, try to do do and e for your homework. All right. So this was about six and seven, eight, seven and eight digit numbers. How to use commas? So in the next class, we'll study what is place value and phase value. All right. So I'll see you all in the next class. Thank you.